It's Sunday, and what do we do every Sunday? We join in with our awesome friend, Kimmy's Kitchen and More. And what is the challenge? Oh, it's a wonderful one. What's for dinner, you all? And you can put anything up you want. It's an open collab. It can be something simple, something expensive. Really doesn't matter. Just share a meal and make it interesting to eat. Oh my gosh, she is such a wonderful creator. She does wonderful things on her channel. So go over and check it out and maybe think about joining in for what's for dinner, you all. We always love joining in with our awesome friend, Kimmy's Kitchens and More. Well, this is what I put up last week for what's for dinner, you all. It's an open collab, like I already said, and you can share anything you want. This week, I'm making two quick little dinners. One I'm making and the other one I'm making out of leftovers from the original meal to stretch those dollars as far as we can stretch them. And you check out that pantry and your refrigerator and see what little bits of pieces you might have that might work for this meal. There's lots of things out there to do and let's keep ourselves in some kind of food budget. Food prices just keep going up, 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 up. Oh my gosh, I have no idea where it's gonna stop. Well, let's go see what grandma did today. I'm doing two quick easy dinners. One is from scratch and the other one is gonna be shopping what I've got. Hi, my awesome friends. Thanks for stopping by for What's for dinner, you all? Oh my gosh, I always love sharing with you quick, easy, easy meals. And this is no different. We're making crema tuna on toast. I'm sure most of you know how to make it, but I just thought I would share a couple new little twists you can do with this dish. We first start with some hot oil, put some flour in there, and we brown our flour up until it's toasty brown like you see now. And once it gets to the point where we are happy, then we're going to add some milk to it. Now, when you first do it, it may not look all that pretty, but don't panic. It's going to be fine. Soon as that milk warms up, that flour and oil will mix and inc incorporate beautifully, as you're going to see. We're also going to be adding a little lemon pepper and some garlic and herbs and black pepper and sea salt to this dish. You can use any seasonings you want and you can add as little or as much as you want. We're trying to stay on a little bit of a low sodium diet. Not that there isn't plenty of sodium in probably this dish, but we're trying to cut back. The lemon peppers on one side, my garlic and herb is on the other side. We're going to stir it together and incorporate it into this gravy that I'm making. We are getting a 12 ounce can of albacore tuna and we're going to put it all in there because we are going to be making eight servings all together out of this gravy four for crema tuna on toast so that will be for two days and the leftovers is going to be crema of tuna on rice so you can stay tuned and see what i do with that the whole can of tuna i am putting in this gravy to make sure that we have plenty of tuna in here because i don't like to be skimpy and we are also going to go shop that freezer and see the vegetables that I have in there. I had part of a bag of mixed vegetable that was almost empty and the same with the corn. I pulled them out of the freezer, rinsed them off, and put them in that gravy. Now I have cleaned out two bags of veggies out of my freezer to make some room when I go shopping next week. I still have veggies in my freezer if we need more or something for later in the week. So don't worry, we're not out. We just polish these two bags off. The same is gonna be saying about something else I'm gonna polish off in this day. Now you can see the veggies look really bright and colorful in our gravy. It's gonna make a quick cream of tuna on toast and it's gonna make cleanup really easy cause I cooked everything in one pan. Don't you think that's pretty good, Grandma? Less dishes to wash. That's also what I like to do. And we have put our toast in our toaster. We toasted it up. And, of course, Grandma's real fancy. She used her hands to tear up the bread instead of cutting it. Put it in that bowl. Put the cream of tuna on toast on top. And we have a meal. 
quick, easy. I'm not a fancy person. I've trained Grandpa to eat whatever I put in front of him. So this is what we had for dinner tonight. Quick and easy, budget-friendly, and we still had leftovers that I'm going to share with you in just a second. But doesn't this look really, really good? And you can see the steam coming off because it's fresh. I just made it. And it didn't take more than 20, 25 minutes to put this whole thing together from the beginning to the end. These are the kind of meals you want to do quick and easy, budget friendly. And if you got a big family, you can stretch this out and make as much as you want. Just double or triple what grandma did. There's just two of us. So that's how I cook for two. And as you see, I ate it all. And grandpa did too. Should have took a picture of his bowl. He loved it. Now, we've gotten done with this dinner. Now let's go check out another dinner out of that same tuna that I already made. This is even a quicker, easier meal. We're just going to boil us two uh, cups of water, bring it to a boil, put one cup of rice, and we are going to have a pan full of rice. And we're going to use that cream of tuna that we already made and put it over rice instead of toast. But we're going to do a cute few little other things to change the taste a little bit. And it's going to cost just a few pennies. And I'm not exaggerating on a few pennies. Here's our rice. And I finished up another bag of rice also. Today I was finishing up all kinds of stuff. I had another bag of rice. So I opened it to finish off the cup of rice. But there's another bag that I finished off. Don't throw stuff away until you've actually used it up. Now here it is. The rice is all finished. That pan is full. That will make four servings and maybe have some leftovers. Now what I did with the rice, I had a small bowl. I pushed the rice in there, made it a little compact, turned it over into my bowl to make it look a little fancier than usual. Normally I wouldn't do this, but just to show I could do something fancy if I wanted to. There is my rice. I'm going to break a little bit in the center apart for my cream of tuna can go seeping through my rice because you know grandma wants to make it taste really good all the way through and i thought it turned out pretty good let me know what you thought now this is a little trick to make it a little different we put our cream of tuna on toast with our veggies in here added a little bit of green onions just one little or two little sprigs of onions was more than enough two little stalks was enough for both me and grandpa that wasn't much how much how much could that cost dime five cents ten cents not much then to give it just a little more flavor, because Grandma always has lots of seasonings in her seasoning pantry. And it is everything bagel, sesame street, sesame seeds, onions, and garlic, salt, and a little bit of poppy seeds. So it gave it a little more color, a little more flavor. And that's all I added to make it look different. Just the onions and the seasonings, and, every, and of course we had the rice. But... That was probably under a dollar, including the rice. So maybe even 50 cents. I don't know. It couldn't have been all that much. But we made another four meals for just like 50 cents a serving. So you can really stretch that meal. You could have this for lunch. You could have it for dinner. Make a little, I have, have, I have salad out. I mean, lettuce out in my garden. I could have cut a little bit of that. I have a tomato growing out there. I could have made a little salad on the side also, and it still wouldn't have been any more money. But these are just quick, easy little tips on how to cook. Hope you enjoy these kind of videos, and next week we'll come up with something different for what's for dinner, you all? Oh my gosh, this one was pretty good. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you give it a try. There's always something different that Grandma's trying. We also do cooking videos on Wednesday. Morning, we do budget meals, a meal under $5. Already got it planned out. And at night, we do 